In this video I'm going to uh, show you how to convert DAISY text files uh, for use with a Kindle, Nook, or iPad. We'll start with a Bookshare file. We're going to bring uh, it into Internet Explorer so that we can copy all the information. Uh, it, it, in Internet Explorer is my HTML editor. I'm going to copy that and paste it into Microsoft Word, save it then as a web page that I can bring into Calibre which is an ebook reader and ebook converter. And so hang on. Here we come. Okay, I've downloaded a file from Bookshare and when I open that file, I want to look for the XML XML file and double click to select it. It'll open up in Internet Explorer, which is my HTML uh, editor and also sometimes passes as a reasonably good internet browser but not today. Once it's in there I'm going to copy it. So I'll just select all and copy. And I'm going to paste that into Microsoft Word. Here it is here. I'll paste it in. Once it's pasted in here it's it's easy enough to go to file save as rather than a single file we want to save it as a web page and we also want to save it in the Mockingjay uh, folder that way I'll be able to find it select save and it takes just a moment to save that file it's saved I'll minimize these things. After saving and opening our Mockingjay folder, we see that we've got our Mockingjay document here as a Chrome HTML document. That's what we need. I'll bring up Calibre. Again, my favorite program for converting books. I'll select the Add Books feature, navigate to the Mockingjay folder, select Mockingjay, open it and it will bring the book into Calibre. This takes a little bit of time and not much we can do at that point. With the book selected now and in Mockingjay, I can actually read it if I wish but uh, I want to go up here to convert it to that ever popular movie file. Looking in the upper right corner here under output format we see that we have an EPUB option which is good for Nook and iPad. Selecting the drop down I'm going to select Mobi because that is the format that I need for Kindle. Once I've selected that I don't really need to do any more work here. Just select OK and it will begin to process and that takes about a minute and a half We'll pause for the time being. We see that our job is done. Coming up here to the format option, I'll select the drop down. We'll see that we have our original zipped file, but then we also have our Mobi file. This is the file, and we can verify that over here. This is the file that we need to put into our Kindle. So as I navigate over to my computer, we can see that here's the Kindle. I can open up the Kindle and I want to put that, the Mockingjay file, in the Documents folder. And I can simply do that by dragging it and dropping it on the screen. And we can verify that Mockingjay is there. We've now added the book to our Kindle and it is ready to read and in some cases uh, the text-to-speech options are available for students with reading issues uh, that they can listen and comprehend this novel. So this makes Bookshare files even more valuable to a variety of other readers. I forgot to mention that I have a pretty old Kindle and I have noticed in the newer Kindle fires and so forth rather than just having a documents folder they have an actual book folder and so uh, any uh, file from Caliber would need to be dropped into that book folder. Uh, something to keep in mind. 